right, welcome you guys to this video. Loki's here, say hi. All right, so straight to the point, I'm gonna try and not make this video long. Um, I'm not gonna make this like dramatic in any way because it doesn't need to be because we only broke up for one reason and even though it seemed really complicated to us at the time trying to figure it out it really isn't um nothing bad happened and you guys will understand in a second um obviously i'm doing this alone and i just i've gotten to a point where to be very transparent with you guys i me being the girl in this breakup obviously girls are really quick to be nasty towards me online and uh we i we i we weren't gonna do this you know um because we're good but anyways he fully supports me doing this because he understands because he also sees everything that i see and i would never put out this video without him watching it and approving it so i tried to prep for this and like write things down of like what i wanted to say but i'm just gonna speak from the heart and just go for it so as y'all know croft and i dated for two and a half years and it was the best relationship i've ever had and i still adore him and wish him nothing but the best and we're good we're still friends as you guys probably have seen online which is also kind of why i want to explain why we broke up so people can understand why we've been able to stay friends like truly it's not a front or anything like that um and i think it will it'll make sense why we have such a healthy breakup and um friendship still so ultimately the reason why we are no longer together is because we just feel very differently and have very different mentality on certain things when it comes to the entertainment industry and what comes with it. And this whole topic kind of started around September when I had booked a role as a love interest. Um, and it was the first time that I had done something like that in a long time because of quarantine and the pandemic. Like, remember that we started dating when the world was like stopped. And so like, both our lives were our normal lives were put on pause. My music career especially, and you know, other things that come with that. I, I'm a dancer, I, you know, I also like to act on the side as well. And I didn't have to like kiss anyone or hold hands or anything like that, but it, it was still like a intimate role. That's basically what sparked um, the whole discussion of okay, well, what if I do this? And what if I do this? What's, what, are, what are you comfortable with? What am I comfortable with? What is, and then we kind of brushed that under the rug and kind of acted like that conversation really never happened because I think we both secretly knew what could possibly happen um, had we <laughs> finished that, um, that conversation. Um, and we didn't want to break up. Sorry. Whoa. I put on a full face of makeup because I did not think I would cry. Hold on. So much for me not making this a dramatic ass video. I'm so sorry, you guys. I really did not. I did not expect uh, this. Okay, I'm good. I really am so shocked at myself. Um, because I am good, but I think maybe just like, I haven't had to say any of this out loud in a while. So, so yeah, we basically like swept it under the rug, which we shouldn't have because then I, you know, was gearing up for tour, you know, hiring dancers, also doing a whole music video that was <laughs> intimate. Um, and you know and those are all like my my best friends in in the video as all that was happening we obviously had to once again really dive into okay what are we gonna do here if i you know the world's back to normal i want to be an actress again i you know obviously with someone's music career music videos tour we really did try 
to figure it out and to find a compromise between the both of us and when we realized that we couldn't do it alone we tried couples therapy and it was great and i think we learned a lot about ourselves individually and as a couple and in the end i mean this this is just it's something so hard it's like not fixable it's so hard we just could not figure out a compromise or middle ground where he wouldn't end up resenting me and i wouldn't end up resenting him um so then i left for tour and we just decided that we would figure it out when i was when i was done um so just to clarify, Crawford and I were still together throughout my whole tour. Um, some people think that we were broken up, but I would not have given him all those shout outs on stage um, had we been broken up. Um, also, I don't think he would have been with me <laughs> in San Fran. Um, so when I got back from tour, we went straight into, you know, holiday season where everything chills out, Thanksgiving and um, and just, one day we just something was off it was so off and we could both feel it and and we knew it was this we knew it had been like chipping away and chipping away and um i he came to the conclusion that he's never going to be comfortable with the intimate side of everything that comes with the ent entertainment industry and i came to the decision that i couldn't compromise my career and my dreams because I would resent him and he would resent me and he didn't also didn't want to be the reason um, he didn't want to feel like he was holding me back or he didn't want to be the reason that I didn't like you know achieve everything I've ever wanted I said this in therapy um, but I would have quit I would have quit anything for him and um, because I am one loyal ass bitch unless you cross me then that loyalty just like goes out the window but I would have quit any other job or just anything had my partner been uncomfortable with whatever because when you decide to be with someone you're making the decision to like and I know you're not supposed to like change and it's not really change it's just like there has to be compromise you know and um I would have changed career paths I would have you know if my partner's uncomfortable you know with with good reason I would I would shift things about my life if there was good reason but with this I just so happen to land my dream, my dream job, and my passion, and I, you can't, I can't compromise or sacrifice when it comes to my dream, and he knew that, and he fully, you know, is still my number one fan and, and supports, and I would rather, I would rather have him be cheering me on from the sidelines as my best friend than us like just constantly fighting and fighting about you know if I do book like some sort of role like that and I want to be very clear that I have never been mad at him for it it was such a mutual breakup it was and I know a lot of people say that but ours truly was mutual because he believes in me and um he didn't want to be the reason that i just don't accept something or you know and, and i was never mad because it's not a normal thing i can't force someone to be okay with that aspect it's not normal it isn't and that is why we've been able to stay friends because we were never mad he wasn't mad at me then i wasn't mad at him so weird I've, we've never been in this position either of us we've never you know gone through a breakup where like we still 
you know, there was just no, there wasn't anything bad and I, and I have nothing, I can't, I can't say anything bad about him. Because he truly is the best, as you guys know, you know, and yeah, I wish him nothing but the best. And I think we're absolutely stuck together <laughs> um, as friends. And I just wanted people to just let us move on. You know, and eventually I'm sure he'll pop up in on this channel at some point and vice versa. And I just, I just wanted people to understand why, why we're not together. Um, and whoever I'm with next is going to have to be okay with, you know, my ex still being in the picture because he's not going anywhere. <laughs> That's it. I hope this video made sense. I don't even know. At this point, I know nothing. I don't even know why I'm crying because I truly am. We are in such a good place right now. Like, like, it's just, I, yeah, I don't know. He's going to watch this. So sorry, Croft. I don't know. I don't know why I'm crying because he knows I'm fine. I think it's just like having to say it out loud. Like, obviously it wasn't what we wanted. It was the last thing we wanted and that's why we were we put it off for so long and um and yeah. Yeah, that's it. I still think the absolute world of him and of our relationship. Do I miss the last couple months of it? Absolutely not. I don't think either of us do. We are much happier right now than than the last couple months of our relationship. But yeah, that's it. I love you guys. I truly do. Um, thank you to the majority of you that have just been so loving and warm um, to both of us during all this. Because um, this is my first public breakup and relationship and I don't think I will ever do this ever again. <laughs> also, by the time you guys are watching this, you probably have seen David's um, blind dating video, which is also why I wanted to do this so people understand why I'm in a mental space to be doing videos like that again. Anyways, I'm gonna go blow my nose and redo my makeup. But anyways, I love ya. We're doing great. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Okay, bye.